already with just under five matches left in the season for Perth Glory. It will be an incredible story if last season's grand finalists can mount some late charge. Good challenge in there from the skipper for this evening for Glory, Michael Thwaite, but Sydney have it back on the far side with Ali Abad right back this evening. We've got the little flick in the area at the front post from Del Piero's corner in. Vedran Janjetovic forward towards Emerton. We've got the flick on. Now there are some injury concerns surrounding Joel Griffiths as well. Start him. They don't have another real out and out attacking option on the bench. Yairo Yao hasn't made the cut. And neither is the 21 year old Blake Powell, who's the 16th man sitting up in the stands after traveling with the side. Griffiths came out about 10 minutes before the rest of the squad and Laurie number 17 can keep that one in play. It'll be an interesting battle tonight I think for, uh, for Fabio because Chris Harold has got electric speed and you know if they can keep breaking them down that side with Nagai on one side and, and Harold on the other it'll be an interesting battle against the two fullbacks. Smelts involved. And Griffiths beaten out two at that time by Steve Pandolides. Del Piero with a chance to look up here. Emerton at the back post. Del Piero against McGarry, still going. Looking for that little yard to get them. That left leg, very heavily strapped. Adam Griffiths, as he receives the ball here from Yenjetovic. He looks long for his twin brother, Joel Griffiths. Tries to bring it down on the chest, McGarry has it. Then a chance again to look for the pace of Harold, which he has it. Then a chance again to look for the pace of Harold, which you can get another illustration of there. Yeah, I think they are going to try and exploit that. Looking at it early, they've played the ball forward quite early, you know, two or three times now, and I think that's maybe an area they see that they can exploit Sydney. Triantis, who has one goal to his name so far this season. It was the winner against Brisbane Raw back in week 20. Emerton leaping for the header. Del Piero out jumped by Cordoba. It's a pointer with that. They've worked the, worked the field position well there with good ball movement and rotations. And I think he'll be disappointed with his end product there because they got themselves into a very good position. Off the bench in his last four outings, Rio Nagai. Yetovic. Crucial that Sydney FC find some away form, not only for the regular season they finish across town, away to Western Sydney Wanderers and then a trip to Brisbane in their final match, which may yet the way the league is shaping up, so you just can't quite bring it down. Yeah, it's obviously coming into fruition for them. They are getting a lot more bodies forward and asking Sydney a lot of questions, so it's um, good interplay in good areas. Now Del Piero, who was just looking for Griffiths, who made the arrow-like run towards the penalty spot. Just saw Perth enjoying the lion's share of possession. But Sydney, when they have the ball, it's in Perth's half of the field. Fabio back into his skipper, Terry McFlynn, who's back in the side. Triantis, it almost let in Rio Nagai. And Yetovic, understandably, nonplussed by the back header. I think Triantis would have had his heart in his mouth there. It was very, very close to uh, Nagai getting on the end of that. And it would have, um, would have been very interesting going from one end to the other with, with one kick from Daniel Vukovic. Behind what they perceive is potentially a slower back line of Neil Griffiths and McFlynn sitting just in front of them. Now Abbas, the cross towards Griffiths, chest down for Del Piero. Well, it was almost superbly worked again. Winner, he scored against the Newcastle Jets here in that 3-2 victory back at the start of the season when Perth Glory were very much a team difficult to beat here. Coming off the back of that first ever grand final, how things have changed. Coach Ian Ferguson has gone. They went for a run of 
Eight games back again with Triantis. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see, the, see that again. It had shades of what happened at Western Sydney today, at Central Coast, sorry, uh, where the ball struck uh, Thomas Stanley's hand. So it'll be very interesting to see that again, especially with the new interpretation of the law. Just getting there too quick for Smeltz and Nagai. And Leedes is back to his feet and rejoins the glory defensive line. He's in the wars in these early stages. Yeah, it didn't, didn't seem to be much going on there. There was just, maybe, whether it was a coming to of bodies or, or whatever, but for Pan Leedes to stay down, he's, he's not usually that way inclined. To be honest, I didn't seem a lot in it. Obviously, Joel didn't think he'd done a lot, but if you get some, you don't get some. You know, it's just one of those things, and I'm sure he'll, he'll dish out a few you know, during the game. Joined Sydney from Shanghai Shenhua, where he was but harsh. Del Piero again with space here on the left foot, drives it hard. Oh my word! What do you say to that? Goal number 12 of the season, the equaliser. They are once again back on level terms. Yeah, and shades of, of the previous encounter at, at Nib Stadium as well. You know, Perth were very dominant in terms of possession and, and attempts on goal and whatnot. And then Sydney went obviously went ahead and, you know, they had to claw their way back through, through a Shane Smeltz goal. So it's very reminiscent of, of game past. Here as well, the shed in. Standing room only. Griffiths is again Sydney look for a patient build up, too patient. Nagai has got him behind them, he's got plenty of pace, but so does Grant in the competition, showing capable of giving them away as well, even if he doesn't always agree with the decision. Triantis now. Oh, closed down quickly by Miller, he's managed to get out of a tight spot, but now Lucas Neal has given it away. Cordoba by not touching it from Shane Smeltz for McGarry. Play on, says the referee. Yeah, good intra -play. I, you know, I think that was a bit of a body check on the edge of the box there. I know they can go either way, but I think Steve McGarry got, got pushed in the back by, by the defender from Sydney, and I think they, they might have had a free kick there. Position for possession. Del Piero, that now trademark drop of the shoulder so familiar to A-League fans this season. He has it back again. Del Piero still drives it in towards Griffiths. Wrestling with Pantelides and Vuka. Socceroo teammate Lucas Neal. Now the Brazilian Fabio. Up the line for Del Piero. Closed down by two, McGarry and Risden. He wins the throw. 